caution. There's nothing below us. Hello, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Line Party. Enderman Farm Construction in Progress. Uh, hi, this is Theron. How are you? I'm doing okay. Uh, I am here in the end. And, oh my gosh, that's so nerve-wracking uh, being over nothing. I've got some supplies here. My plan is to build... Oh, I need more. I need more yellow dye than that. That's okay. We can get that. I'm going to start building uh, an Enderman farm. Why? Uh, I don't know. I want more Ender Pearls. <laughs> don't use them a lot. I have Ender Pearls here, uh, but I don't have a whole lot of them. And they're pretty good. Uh, Enderman farms are decent for XP. So I guess, uh, and I've been meaning to build this for a bit. Ah, hey, oh, don't you shoot at me. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to build an Enderman farm, and I, it's not going to be terribly unique design. Um, it'll be, it's going to be based largely on the, uh, hmm, how do I, it's not, not quite the Ender Ender, but it's going to be very similar. Uh, it's basically going to be the uh, Cycraft Enderman farm. And I need to build it down low, or I want to build it down low. And uh, the whole notion of flowing down in a water stream to go down and uh, um, place blocks is just terrifying. And I feel like I'm certainly going to fall into the void. So we're going to we're going to do something uh, old school, and we are going to go down and. Uh, and just have the game build us a column down to the bottom of the world. It's going to take a little bit here. Um, so, uh, it's going to be a quickie, short little episode. I'm not going to do a whole lot of this right now. It's not going to be on uh, entirely. I'm not going to build this thing entirely on camera. Uh, <clears throat> because it's going to be a little tedious and not terribly interesting, I don't think. But... We, uh, I will get started here at least. And uh, I need a, I needed something to release on video this week uh, because I kind of ran out of, uh, I kind of ran out of pre recorded content. So, um, and I've been away. I, I got ahead a little bit and then I used it all up because I was on vacation. Went up to Oregon, um, went camping with my sister, her family and some friends of mine and my wife and we were up there and the uh when they were trying to schedule the campground uh they were finding that the the weekend that they wanted wasn't available because of the eclipse so it's like oh okay that's that's true there's an eclipse going on and the campground is on the coast of oregon and it's right in the center uh, right in the path of totality. So, very cool. So the so the, we couldn't get the campground on that weekend. So what we did is we were like, well, should we go and see the eclipse? And just uh, the camping itself was scheduled for the following week, um, the following weekend. And so the idea was, do we instead go and uh, go up a little bit earlier, see the eclipse, figure out some place to go see it, and then uh, uh, and then go camping. And that is, in fact, what we did. So that, that's pretty cool. So I did get to see the eclipse. We went out to a friend's place. Uh, they have a, a, a vacation home out in uh, near Smith Rock, which is a state park. And we... Uh, put uh, we went out there and we camped in their driveway uh, because 
there wasn't uh, enough room in their house for all the people that, that were there because there were literally like 70 people 70 people there and there was a news crew from the local NBC, from the Portland NBC affiliate and we went and we talked to them and got interviewed and I shot some footage with my drone and they actually used some of it on the broadcast so I'll put links to to that in uh, the <clears throat> the episode description okay this is nerve-wracking but this should be a cobblestone pillar down to Y zero but just to be safe I'm gonna take off all my armor do I have a um, yeah so so that's cool we got to see the uh, total solar eclipse which was cool beyond cool I was like cooler than I could have expected I I knew that uh, totality was different from seeing a partial eclipse and I've seen partial eclipses in the past I have never seen a total eclipse so that was pretty sweet uh, uh, pretty cool so uh, that was that uh, I I will post I'm also going to do something with the drone footage that I shot I didn't shoot the eclipse itself with the drone mainly because I couldn't I can't point the camera upwards with it uh, but I did shoot oh wait I was doing something in particular with my stuff here because I don't want to lose it all in the event I fall off into the void I should keep wings on though, right? Probably. I don't need these. So I shot, uh, I wanted to see if I could capture <clears throat> the shadow of the uh, the moon as it comes across the, uh, the, the, the hill, the sort of landscape nearby. There's some very cool rock formations. Makes me nervous. Um, <clears throat> and um, and so I, I put the drone up in the air and I pointed it at some nearby rocks. And uh, shot uh, just the, the hillside. And I was hoping to catch the shadow as it moved across. Um, of course, the shadow, not of course, but I didn't know this, but the shadow is not as uh, well defined as it moves across the landscape as I was thinking it might be. So basically I just got it as the light dimmed and then came back up. So I may take that and do a little, speed it up a little bit and put some music to it. That's the plan. Uh, I will post that on the channel and you'll see that. Um, I needed a little time to cut it and file's going to be quite large because I shot it in 4k okay hang on a second <laughs> okay okay I've got one more down there but let's put down this okay we're down at the bottom and I want to come back up here and I want to put down a torch there. Whew. Oh, we get a new view of that from down here. Cool. So, anyway, that is the uh, the basic plan with the Eclipse stuff. I am going to... Let's see. I have a plan here. I really do. Uh, I need to be able to come back down here safely. And I need to, so I need to put some ladders in. Come on. Oh, did I screw that up? I did. All right. So anyway, I had a good vacation. Um, uh, Eclipse. Eclipse was really cool. I'm glad I got to go up and see it. And uh, we're totally making plans for the next one in 2024, I believe. Not quite sure where we'll go see it, but it 
crosses a pretty good line across the US from uh, Texas all the way up into the New England uh, so somewhere in Texas would probably be good also possibly uh, somewhere um, in the Midwest Carbondale was Carbondale and St. Louis area was in a good position for both this eclipse and the next one which is kind of cool so and I've been to Carbondale before I went there to go help with a uh, nonprofit do some tech education activities and Carbondale is a really nice little town and they have a technical college there uh, where Buckminster, Mount Buckminster Fuller worked still ways to go um, so that might be a cool place to go see it someplace in the St. Louis area I've never been I drove through St. Louis on the way to Carbondale when we were, when I was there didn't stop in St. Louis did not get to see the arch or any of that stuff just drove through so uh, so maybe that might be a good place to go I'll have to look at the maps and see who gets good totality uh, but and it should be a longer longer uh, totality there than what we got uh, this time so so anyway uh, I'm glad so many people got to see this eclipse it's very uh, very nice and I'm glad so many people had the opportunity to see the totality uh, it was a really large swath of land that it went through and I know a bunch of people who went went to go see it people lived in the area got to see it um, it's very cool Ooh, almost there Oh, Barb just joined. Get up here before I even attempt to talk. And hopefully I plan this so it's in the right place. Put a torch down. There we go. We have started the process. Goodness gracious, that is terrifying. All right, let me say hi to Barb, and that's all I really wanted to do is get started on that process. Um, I'll build some more of it and show you as it goes, and soon we'll be able to kill Endermen by the thousands, or something very close to that. Cool. Let me get all my stuff. Thank you for watching. This is Theron, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.